Hello everybody, here I am again. Uh, my Heavenly Father, you know, sometimes he has to correct me a little bit and lets me know that uh, I get upset over the, the wrong things. And he's actually went over this with me before and I lose sight on it. Um, I should be upset when when souls perish and, and not be so upset when flesh dies. So, um, yeah, I got a little upset because no one's listening to me and a bunch of flesh dies and... Yeah, so... After some rebuke from my father, he's like... You know, he's kind of made... At this point, I'll have to say, I'm just kind of... It's like this. The flesh that dies, the flesh that dies. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. Like, the souls that perish, now those I care, I do care. And so, you know, putting the horse in front of the cart and cart in front of the horse and chicken and the egg, or egg and the chicken, you know, I guess that to a certain degree, I get upset when flesh dies because it didn't have to. And there's a high likelihood of the fact that the, that flesh died, actually the soul's gonna perish too. Because it, it actually, it was flesh that died needlessly. Uh, faithless or whatever. Um, and no, I'm not saying uh, th that people who died don't go to heaven or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying, but... but <clears throat> so, you know, I, I give, I give, I give out these warnings. <laughs> Like, uh, supernatural, spiritual, uh, scriptural warnings, right? And, and like, nobody hears anything. Nobody hears anything because it's just like, it's this invisible world that nobody kind of sees or anything. Okay, so anyway, uh, uh, But then, you know, my Heavenly Father isn't, he you know, he's mixing it up. So, one moment I'm saying this, one moment I'm saying that, you know. And so, you know, I say, what is it, just a couple videos ago, I'm like, hey, everybody in Jerusalem needs to get out of Jerusalem, flee Jerusalem, no one's listening to me. Boom. Like, what, the, like, I don't even know if it was 24 hours later, I'm not sure. I wasn't keeping track of the information. I wasn't even paying attention to anything going on in the Middle East at all. I just, my Heavenly Father says... What he says, I said it to y'all, nobody listened. <clears throat> Look, man, a bunch of people are dying. Like, I kind of said, a month ago, I'm like letting, you, letting Israel know, you know, like, you need to take that star off your flag. You need to take that star off your flag. It's not the Star of David. That's an idol image anyway. I haven't even explained in detail why. It doesn't matter why. The point of the reason is like, it's an idol image. Yeah, it's an idol image. Like, like Christians, they wear their idol image, their cross. You know, that's an idol image. And, and Jews, they have their idol image. Uh, actually, Christians will wear multiple idol images at the same time. Um, Jews usually stick to just those two, you know, the, the idol image lamp and the idol image Star of David. Um, Muslims kind of have their idol image moon, star, crescent thing, whatever. They're all idol images. That's, you know, there you go, once again. Uh, at least that's actually something that the Jew, the Muslim, and the Christian have in common. They, they know that idol images are wrong, yet they keep them in their lives. So anyway, yeah, so here's a warning. People with idol images, they're doomed. People that wear idol images, people that, that keep them in their houses or have them on their lawns, doomed. I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, no one listens. You know, like, like I tried to say, hey, flee Jerusalem. And I was serious and like, it doesn't matter that the flesh hears me, the supernatural hears me. Like all of a sudden the devil was like, oh, look, the hand of protection has been taken off of Jerusalem. Let's strike. Yeah, like I, I, I'm sorry, but you know, I have to give this warning, you know, I'm warning flesh, I'm warning souls, I'm the spirits, you know, like, so there's, there's like confirming evidence. Like, what was it? Just a couple days ago, I say, hey, everybody get out of Jerusalem. Boom, 
Nobody like nobody listened. And the deaf ears got blood on their hands. Yeah, the deaf ears that aren't sharing. Yeah. Those deaf ears that aren't sharing. I have a confirmed one brother, a confirmed one sister. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Huh? I love it. I love it. So anyway, uh, yeah, like, listen, folks. I've talked about the dough and the bread and the oven, but I ain't here to play patty cake, patty cake, bakers, man. Yeah, everybody's got calluses, even if it's not on their hands, calloused hearts. Not playing patty cake, patty cake, bakers, man, with those with calluses, even if your hands are soft because you've never done anything and your heart is calloused. See, my hands are calloused. My heart is not. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. It's not patty cake, patty cake, bakers, man. I'm sorry. There's not enough time for that. Let's get real. Everybody put their big boy pants on, their big girl pants on. Yeah. Yeah, I got, you know, I can't even shake hands with people anymore because I got so many thorns and thistles in, like in my hands that, well, first of all, no one really wants to, there's too many open gashes and wounds and they might get pricked with a thorn or they're sticking out of me at this point. Yeah. So it's not patty cake, folks. Not patty cake. I'm sorry. It is love. It's harsh. Like, what I say does matter. And I've tried to make that very, very clear. It'll become more and more and more clear. Yeah. It's more like Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That! And it, when I mean all the king's horses, all the king's men, that's all the kings, all the kings, each and every king with all his horses and all his men, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That, I can't be playing patty cake, patty cake. Yeah. Someone wanted to say, I had a deaf ear attack me last night and said the Holy Spirit wasn't speaking out of me. And that I wasn't a Christian. I'm not going to go into debating Holy Spirit things because that is a deep topic. But obviously this is a person that doesn't realize I, I definitely claimed I am not a Christian. Yeah. Not a Christian. Yeah. Was there ever... An Elijah that was a Christian? No, I don't think so. Yeah, something more like that. It's funny how uh, Christians don't agree on anything. Have you noticed that Christians don't agree on th anything? You know, the Catholic doesn't agree with the Jehovah's Witness, and the Jehovah's Witness doesn't agree with anybody, and nobody agrees with the Catholic, really, and the Methodist, and the Baptist, and the Mormon, and the... <sighs> Christian, 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 all these Christians, right? Nobody even agrees on anything. They don't agree on the translation of scriptures. They don't agree that this means this, and that means that. You can't drink coffee, or you've done sin, or you can't eat pork, or whatever, right? This and that, this and that, Christian belief, Christian belief. I took this translation that way, you took that tra same translation that way, but they all agree on one thing. All scripture is God breathed. Wow, folks. It's just like this delusional state of blindness and this eternal state of deafness. And so, since we can't see the supernatural things, well, we, meaning you all, not me included, at least you can see that I said get out of Jerusalem, and then, look what happened. Yeah, so the flesh eye needs to see what the flesh eye needs to see, you know? The doubting Thomases need to see things, you know? Like, if I were to rig up a scenario where I'm recording a situation where it's obviously not too hard to commit suicide by cop, right? I mean, you could die by a cop for a traffic violation. You could die by a cop for absolutely nothing. So as long as I was set it up so I could record it, so, you know, his body cam wasn't enough. 
let you all know that this, this guy's gonna kill me, attempt to kill me, because of whatever, because he got angry with me, because I, I didn't let him have power and authority over me or something, you know? And then like he shoots me, right? And, but his gun explodes in his face and he dies, and the cop dies, like a Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego kind of thing, just to kind of prove a point, you know, just to, just to kind of prove a point. Well, my heavenly father, you know, obviously doesn't want this. I'm just trying to kind of explain like a scenario that like, just to be a jerk, I could say, like, I'm just kind of, just, I have to be, you know, cause no one's listening. Sarcasm isn't even working, I mean, like. So, you know, I go prove that this, I'm totally innocent. I haven't even done anything wrong. This angry swine covered in all kinds of idol images, probably he's got a cross in his necklace there and then his badge and his flag and his idol images, his Christian cop. When he goes to kill me, shoot, when, he, when he goes to shoot, you know, I mean, we've seen it so many times. It doesn't matter if you're Mexican or you're black or you're white or whatever. It's got nothing to do with what color lives matter. All lives matter and to the swine, None of the lives matter. Yeah, they're just like the jelly in the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The jelly with bones. Long story. I don't know. You guys haven't been watching my videos, so it doesn't really matter. And, uh, so he goes to kill me, but his gun explodes in his face and he dies, right? Like, what point does it prove? It's like an innocent police officer died and still nobody would get it. So, you know, my Heavenly Father goes, it needs to be on a grander scale. And, yeah, something like that. Because nobody's listening. You know? Nobody's listening. I could say, no more rain. Let the rain stop. And people would be like, oh, it's just a new phase of this global warming and our, our blocking the sun thing backfired on us. And so they'd have an explanation of, Wait a minute, we were doing this and that, with, well, you know, the Kim Trilling thing was real, and, and it backfired, and now it won't rain because, well, actually it wouldn't rain because we were forcing it to rain, and, and well, nobody read the book of Enoch, and, and the Catholic Church, if you notice how the Catholic Church ever, they basically get blamed for pardon me, canonizing or whatever the Bible, or like, and they never ever, they, they, they never, like, rebuke anybody on that, like, oh, it's the Catholic Church is the reason why we don't have the book of Enoch in the Bible anymore, but why do they take that fall when, I'll have to stand up to bat for them on this one, they're not actually guilty of this, yep, yeah, it's not the Catholic Church, are the Jews reading the book of Enoch? Yeah, it's not the Catholic Church, folks. It's not the Catholic Church. I love you guys. I'm trying to help. I'm just here trying to help. Don't think there's going to be a whole lot more videos, but I know I've said that before. Things change. I owe a sister an in-depth explanation on curses generational curses. I have heard this is something I need to answer like a prayer. It will be. There's a time. There's an exact time and place in which that was always going to take place. And yes, very soon. I love you. Well, I need to go out and get some sunlight because I'm freezing, so uh, I'll talk to you guys later.